you saw my last video, we put the 370 motor in and the servo mount for the 9G servo. We're gonna finish with the electronics. We're gonna get rid of this crappy transmitter and we're gonna try out this FlySky FS GT2B transmitter and receiver. So it does come with steering trim, throttle trim, dual rate for the steering. You can also reverse the steering and the throttle. And then here it has a channel three button. This does come with, it's a 3.7 volt, 800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, the USB charging cable. And then here is the receiver. We'll see how good it is for 40 bucks. So I talked about in the last video about putting the receiver and the ESC underneath this tray here which goes right here so i think that's what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna mount the receiver because that's the biggest the esc can just go anywhere yeah look at that that works out perfect i might want to use this receiver somewhere else so i'm gonna cut this it has adhesive on both sides so i'm gonna stick velcro on and that way I can take this receiver off whenever I want to use my radio for something else. Now I have this ESC here. It's a 30 amp ESC, just a cheap one I found on Amazon. And then we're gonna power it with this Ovonic 2S LiPo, 1000 milliamp hours. So should get a decent run time out of it. Okay, so we're gonna just hook everything up real quick just to see that everything works. So the steering servo that goes in channel one and then the ESC goes in channel two. So let's plug this into here and plug this into the motor. All right, let's turn our radio on here and turn this on. And let's see if we have power. Oh, yes. Look at the servo. Servo's going. Let's see if we have. All right. So we're going to put this rear deck, I guess you'd call it. But if you look here, it won't go down all the way because the motor is in the way now. So we actually have to cut out right here and get rid of this section right here. All right, I went a little too wide, but oh well. So before I attach this, I noticed that this hole right here is empty and it's not gonna be used. So I think I'm gonna take this shock mount, flip it upside down, put it in here, and then that way with it being upside down, it'll give me a lower point to mount the shock. By doing that, it should give me a little more flex in the back end here. Oh yeah, I think it definitely helped. I get way more flex in the back end by doing that. Now I can't do it to the front because the tires, when I turn, the tires actually hit the shocks. So if I put the shocks back further, it's gonna make the tires hit the shocks a lot sooner. So I won't be able to turn as far. So I just have to let the front the way it is, but the back definitely helped out. So now I'm gonna take this screw out because I need this screw to mount this tray. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I had to trim that away because this mount does affect, with it being here, it does affect putting this on. So I did have to cut that away and hopefully it should fit right on right now. So I got this on now and I think the next thing I want to do is I want to clean up this wire a little bit, but I don't want to zip tie it. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it somewhere right around there. And I have my little servo plug kit right here. I'm going to put one together real quick. I'm not going to show you how to make a servo plug. I'm just going to quick go through it. So another thing I'm gonna do is cut off this on and off switch, and I'm just gonna solder it together. So that way it's one less set of wires in here. 
cleans it up a little bit. It'll just power on every time I plug it in. I'm gonna mount this ESC. Let's stick it over here on the side. Put some tape on so it doesn't bounce around or fall out. So the battery should fit in, I'm thinking. So with the body back on like that, that battery will definitely fit in there. But I'm not ready to put the body back on. I think I gotta paint this, get rid of this tan color. But thanks for watching this video on the install of the ESC and also the servo and just testing it out, making sure it runs. It's coming along pretty good. Next video, we'll have body on and also i bought these wheels we're gonna put some bigger wheels on here bigger wheels and tires and i can't wait to see you on the next one when we continue on with this wpl build